Welcome back. Cheap R32 restoration project episode number three. Crap check, dead. Right. In the last episode, we removed some brakes, split the front calipers. What we didn't do was remove the rear carriers because I didn't have this little baby. An M14 triple square or spline drive. Since then we have made loads of room. This is the best shot you'll have seen of the R32. Put some lights up and got rid of a few things. One trailer, one half of a caddy van. So this episode is going to be suspension removal. I might have um, had my first shot clickbait with the uh, snap front spring and the biscuit rim on the front. I'm not actually going to be installing the suspension in this one, that'll be the next video. And then the one after that will be the brakes. So first things first, now the car's changed position, got a jacket back up. Turns out you need a little bit longer than jacking a car up to um, do a half decent time lapse. That was about what, four seconds. Anyway, time to get my friend Big Lad out and take off some wheels. Caddy's gone. In an ideal world, you'd remove both your wiper arms, but this one's nicely seized. That one came off lovely. Um, I haven't got a wiper arm puller, so I can't remove it. So we'll just move the scuttle. Take the seal off the front of the scuttle. These 13 mil uh, bolts take them off. This is my weapon of choice, 13 mil on a Halfords ratchet with a little 3 8 extension. Oh, blimey. No, don't be spinning. Oh, no. Oh, These should Mark IV platform cars, three 13mm bolts on the top with captive nuts on the top of the strut or the uh, top mount. I think these must, must be captive, but they're not captive anymore. Oh, this one is. Gonna end up breaking the wiper motor or linkage. Um, doing that. Ooh. Slide hammer. That was a moment all the um, memes, memes, memes. Well, that was about you drop a bolt, you don't hear it at the floor. Oh. Absolutely nothing. I need a puller. Oops. That's broken. Put us out of the way. 
Bear with. Keys, keys, keys. N new van key. But you can't guess what it is. I don't think this is going to work, um, I reckon I'm going to have to grind the heads of the bolts off. But, it's worth a try because A, we recreate a captive nut by welding it to the base of the top mount, and B, or one and two, um, we put a bit of heat through, or a lot of heat through the bolt. Uh, generally makes things nudge, or budge. Fucking nudge. Generally makes things budge. Gas isn't turned on at the moment either, which doesn't help. But <laughs> all I've managed to do is weld the bolt to the nut. Good one. Fire, so it's hot. <sighs> Rubber stinks. <sighs> oh, fuck's sake, man. Now the well's just come off. Yeah, there's the well.
아. I told my wife I'd be home for tea. It's now 10 past eight. She's trying to get me home by sending me a photo of the, the dogs. <laughs> now I come to think about it, this might be a good time lapse. It'll be longer than Jack in the car up anyway, it's gonna be, it's gonna take ages. Stand by. I've got my ear defenders in, but I'll tell you what I'm doing. This bolt is done. I've done a little bit of damage to the strut, but it's sacrificial really. It's nothing that's going to affect this structural integrity. Now I've just started doing a groove in this one. I'm going to do crisscrosses, head, and then I'm going to, you can see I've done it here. Chop, 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 chop. And then that bolt will go through that hole. And I can take the top line out with the strut. Screwdriver, twist. <laughs> but you get the idea. I need to make that incision slightly deeper and then that section will ping off voila very hot turn the bolt <clears throat> so i can access another section. Oh, where's the bolt gone? I chop the head off. It's the bottom section of the strut. This is typical Josh for you. I was just about to move on to the lower section of the suspension removal. You know the tripod that can stay there. But I would have left this like this and moved on. This time. Action. Anti roll bar drop link. I need to disconnect this top end. I reckon that's going to give me some some jip. I need to disconnect this nut, remove this bolt and the nut, and then I need to Get a thing called. Oh, I don't want to scratch the camera. There we go. Can you see that? Get a bit of light in there. 
see this gap. There where my finger is, that runs through the hub. I need to spread that. So, focus, focus, focus. I'm gonna get my friend the big lap. 18. The bolt. Can you make that out? The bolt. So, I also now need a spline. God, imagine I ordered these yesterday. What size? I think it might be an M12, but it might be bigger. Miles off. M14. Oops, sorry about that. M14, I'll just beat that one in there. Not found anything. That big lad cannot overcome. Look at the state of that. I just tried my luck and um, had a go at the nut on the anti-roll bar. It needs replacing because the, the center did spin. You can see I'm spinning it there. However, it still came out. As you can see, this drive shaft needs removing. So, as I didn't show you the one on the offside front, I'll show you the near side front. See, I'm gonna get the torch and my finger. These bolts, there's six of them. They're M10 multi-spline or um, triple square uh, bolts, six of them need removing. The bolt that connects the drive shaft to or secures the drive shaft inside the hub needs removing there. Oh, I can't remember what size it is. I'll tell you the size. Um, one of these big lads helps. But anyway, let's, um, let's remove some M10 spline bolt. It's neutral so I can move it around, spin the wheels, blah blah blah. Oh, that's in there now. Look at that. Anybody that's done um, jive shaft bolts before knows they can be a pain when they want. Let's be neutral, easy as that, spin around. Percy Pig's relative. A caterpillar. Added CV grease. Mm. Um. What I didn't show you last time as well as the remove of the drive shaft. Was removing the hub. Well, removing the lower arm from the hub. Three 16 mil nuts. One, two, three. And that releases the, the ball joint. And take those three 16 mil nuts off the bottom of the wishbone for the ball joint on the bottom of the hub. And then take the drive shaft out, get something in ready to support all of this gubbins. So I don't want to be stretching the brake cables. Uh, I, I've just checked the other side, um, the near side, the off side, uh, and two of the three bolts for the top might have spinning. So I've got to grind the heads again. I'm going to spread the hub first so I can get some, get a bit of lube in there. While uh... oh come on, focus. In. 
It's not ideal, you don't really want to be doing it there because you've got to get a tab through. But for the purpose of getting her moving, I don't care. Let's see if there is any movement in it. It's been off before because it's had a couple of wax here, which supports the um, top mount. Oh, what am I doing? I've got nothing supporting it at the top. I need to put another bolt in. I just made a schoolboy error. I had to find this bolt that was dropped down in uh, on top of the bellows in um, earlier. Refit that to support the top of the strut so I can then get my other friend. Tap the hub down, you get the idea. Update time. There's your first update. The many greases in there. One of the bearings fell off. Um, removing the ball joint. Two of three snapped. Or sheared. Uh, what else? There's another thing. Oh, here. Yeah. There is. Play in the wheel bearing. Another hundred quid. Oh well. It's not. It's going to be removed. 18. Right, come on. Come on, break the bar. Track rod end removed. <sighs> Calipers off. All the wiring's off. Break. Oops. Uh, brake hose is out of the little clip. Uh, so the, sorry, the little bracket, the little clips come out and it's out of the bracket. Now, I just need a 13. There we go. And to remove. One times bolt. Here she comes. Blind dress heavy. Struth. Hold that on there. <sighs> Top mine actually feels alright. Doesn't look alright. Blimey. Uh, seen better days. I'm going to call it a day there. I was going to remove one of the rears, uh, the, one of the rear suspension, but that's going to have to be part two. And it looks like this is going to be a three or four part um, section of the series. I'm tired and sweaty. I'll probably stink. I need a shower. So uh, it's time to go. Appreciate everybody watching, uh, everybody that's subscribed so far. First video's got over 500 views and this is recorded on, what day is it today? It's Thursday today. That video's been out for three weeks, but things bad for a first attempt. I'm trying to, imp I don't know, well, trying to improve every time with, this time I've tried time lapses. I think I've messed them up a bit, but. Anyway, um, this is the second outro I've recorded, uh, the first one. I blabbed on, so I started doing another one, and I blabbed on. So anyway, I'll, um, I'll catch you all in episode four. Safe.